what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is danielle subscribe down below for new videos every wednesday and sunday today we're going to be talking about how to prep for your freshman year of college or if you're maybe transferring to a school or it's your first year at college or maybe it's your second year and you just need like you know some reminders <laughs> Freshman year is a big year, especially in college. After doing some research, I looked at my demographics, my analytics. A lot of you guys are around my age that are about to be juniors in college, some sophomores. A lot of you guys are about to be freshmen in college. I could not be more excited for you guys. I wish I could relive freshman year all over again because there are things I would do differently. I don't regret anything, but there's definitely ways I would have prepped better. And that's what I'm here to talk to you guys about today. So yeah, I have a list of like, I don't know, 10, 11 tips. I kind of just went ham. I just started writing and I was like, wow, I, I wish I knew. Like these are like genuine tips that I learned from experience. And I'll also be talking about some items that I really recommend for you to get for your dorm, decor wise, functionality wise, everything like that. So yeah, it's gonna be an all around um, fun video. Think of it as a Bible for your freshman year. Not a Bible, but you know what I mean? Like clothes, you know. Just like tips. We're gonna talk about the fun stuff, decor and stuff for your dorm room. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, you know, to make videos about dorm decor and everything like that. I have found that JCPenney has a lot of awesome college decor for your dorm. When it comes to bedding, bathroom stuff, cause some of you guys I know are living in dorms with suites. So you like share your own little bathrooms. So you get to kind of decorate your bathroom and you'll need stuff for that. Um, some stuff for your desk and random little things that I think would be essential for your dorm. JCPenney is a great spot to do a lot of back to school shopping, especially for your dorm room, because everything is very inexpensive, which I like. I've been shopping at JCPenney since I was little. I've always gone there, and now that they have all this awesome college stuff, it makes me even happier. I'm obviously not living in a dorm this year. I wish I was. I literally miss the dorm so much. I'm living in an apartment, and I still have to buy things for that, so I got some really fun stuff for my apartment on JCPenney that I can also apply to a dorm. They're mostly for dorm, but I'm like making it work for my apartment. I went for more of like a minimalist kind of gray and white situation for the things that I'm showing you guys today that I really suggest. These are things that will be going in my apartment. First off, something I found on JCPenney that I think is going to be awesome for me and my roommate to share is this charging station. It has like four ports, I believe. I don't have it with me right now. It's, I'm gonna get a clip of it, but it is awesome. I'm gonna put it on my desk or maybe I'll leave it in the living room for like when friends come over. That way you plug it into one outlet and it has like four different USBs so people can charge their phone, their port portable charger you can charge so many different things with that one and it'll just take up it'll take up a lot less outlet space it's also nice because JCPenney is a one-stop shop so you can get all different kinds of essentials off of one store which is really really convenient you don't have to worry about shopping on all these different websites or going to all these different stores it's just one place I strongly suggest you guys go to your nearest JCPenney or go online to shop because you will be surprised at the amazing stuff that they have for you guys to offer this video is sponsored by JCPenney obviously and I couldn't be more thankful it's such a big brand to work with and I'm always so thankful to have really cool sponsors like this to kind of share with you guys some inexpensive college items next up this is something that my roommate and I got for our freshman year dorm and I just got a new one a square for a chair a beanbag something of the sort because you don't realize how often people are coming into your dorm room I don't know my dorm my hall was pretty social we always always hung out my dorm room ended up being the room that everyone hung out in so we needed more seating space because there's like your beds and then maybe if you loft your bed you have some seating under that but other than that you really have nothing so we got these two bean bags and I found one off JCPenney it's gray I'm looking at it right now it's so cute it's so chic I'm gonna put it in my living room this year but it's perfect for the dorm because it's just like this little square thing and it's just really cute and adds like a little warmth to your dorm room which is really nice and it adds another seat for your friends to sit at I suggest getting two that was the vibe we got two and got a little coffee table for the middle of our dorm room and put like flowers it was so cute so definitely suggest doing something like that and JCPenney has this really cute gray one so and I think they had it in white too in the realm of fluff I also got this really cute fluffy gray pillow that I'm either gonna put in our on our couch in our living room or on my bed this is really great I found that getting a fluffy pillow like two one or two fluffy fuzzy whatever you want to call it pillows for your bed again warms up your dorm room makes it a little bit more welcoming people thought I was crazy for putting little throw pillows on my dorm twin bed but it's seriously made for a lot cuter of a room you and your roommate can coordinate and it was super inexpensive and you didn't have to like buy the pillow and the pillow cover separately it all came in one this perfect square I'm looking at right now it's so cute and fluffy and inviting and it just adds that much to your apartment or dorm like I was saying earlier I know some of you guys are lucky enough to live in a dorm that's suite style so that means you probably have your own bathroom or share it with like two to three people which is so nice but you have to remember that they're not gonna provide any sort of bath rugs or any sort of anything for your bathroom at least so 
JCPenney has a ton of stuff for bathrooms. I got these two bath rugs I'm gonna put in front of my sink and in front of my bathtub in my bathroom because I don't like when my feet are cold when I get out of the shower and you need to soak up all the wetness. And when I'm brushing my teeth at night, I don't want my feet to be cold, you gotta have rugs. So I found these really cute, I think it was in a set of two gray rectangle rugs that are kind of shabby chic vibes and it went with my whole vibe of my apartment. So I'm really excited about that, but definitely suggest looking into that. My dorm room freshman year had a sink in it and something I wish we did was put a rug right in front of the sink because I don't know, it just warms everything up once again and it just, it makes sense. And lastly, so. they have a ton of really cute bedding. I got this super cute black and white design. They have a ton of different bedding options that you can totally look at for yourself. I just really liked this design. They have a ton of comforters, which I like comforters because then you don't have to worry about getting a duvet and a duvet cover. Once again, it's just easy, boom, done, inexpensive, love it. So I will have a link to JCPenney down below if you guys to check it out. I highly suggest checking out your nearest JCPenney. You will be surprised at how much stuff you can find for your dorm. So that kind of goes through the tangible items and the tangible tips I have for you guys and things you should get for your dorm room. Now for my nitty gritty tips and tricks for to prep for your freshman year of college. These are mo yeah, these are all things that you would do prior to your first day of class, prior to move in. And I think these are pretty specific and I think these will be really helpful. So let's get started. When scheduling your classes, if you haven't yet, if you have, I'm sorry, try not to do 8 a.m.s if you can. I had like three 8 a.m.s my first semester freshman year and I really thought I could do it. And I guess if there's any semester you can do it, it is your freshman year semester because you're used to from high school waking up so early. So it wasn't that bad and I did like the idea of you know, I'd go to class and then I'd already be up for the day and have so much done by 12 o'clock. However, in college, you're like on a different clock schedule, I swear. I You always stay up a lot later with your homemates or your roommate. There's just like a different clock. Everyone stays up later and wakes up later in college. So the best start time I've found in my last few years of college, couple, not few, not few yet, only two years so far, um, is like 10 a.m., 9.30 if needed, but the 10 a.m. class schedule from then on is perfect you can like have yourself a morning you can still wake up at 8 a.m but then go to the dining hall and get yourself a nice breakfast or get homework done or study in the morning or just have me time before you start your day i found has been amazing it makes for a more productive day for me so yeah try to do that when you're scheduling your classes and if you have already scheduled your classes and you know where your classes are, highly, highly suggest if you live near a college campus or you're about to go to college for your orientation or even on move-in weekend, walk out your classes. <laughs> oh my gosh, did I, do I wish I did that. I have never been more lost in my life on my first day of classes, like that was so bad. Everyone told me, you know, walk your classes, walk your classes, go to each location, make sure you can get there. From I was like, no, I got this, like no. One, I recommend using Google Maps. Google Maps, I've found, has been the best for walking directions. So if you wanna like, you know, it shows you sidewalks and stuff, which is a lot more helpful when you're getting to classes. I also go to University of Georgia, so it's a lot bigger of a campus, so you might not have this issue. Regardless, if you have like two to three classes a day, you know, try and walk out those three classes, especially if they're back to back. Go to that location, see where that exact room is if the if the building is open. You'll be so much happier. Oh my gosh, you'll be so much happier. <laughs> On that note, if you do have those classes and you do have the locations, go ahead and go on Google Calendar or whatever calendar app you use on your phone and put in the times of your classes and the location. Put them in for the first like few weeks. Like you can say like if you wanna repeat this on your calendar, do it for like three weeks so you can really get a hang of it. Literally put the room number, put the time, do it all so you don't miss anything because there's nothing worse than being lost and then trying to like go through your email to find the room number. Oh my God, I've been there. I'm triggered by it just thinking about it. So just be prepared and you will just be so much happier and less stressful and you won't look as frantic on campus. I am talking so much with my hands. <laughs> also when it comes to walking your classes and just walking in classes in general, Get a backpack that is comfortable for your back and won't hurt you because you're gonna be walking long distances sometimes. Don't get a super heavy backpack that's heavy on its own without stuff in it. P cushion, get something with cushion, like a good old North Face or my DC backpack. I think it's still for sale, I'm not really sure. That's what I used all sophomore year of college and it was great for me. Just find a backpack that's good for you, that molds to your body well, that's comfortable if you're waiting at a bus stop or if you're walking up a hill, just think about these things. This might sound kind of weird, but in the sense of clothing, um, I did this, no shame. Especially since I was going out of state, you know, some trends are different and some people wear different things and I wanted to get a feel for what girls wore on game day, what people wore to class, 
what people wore for going out what for different events I wanted to see what was up like I kind of have a good idea but it was nice to get inspiration so I just went and looked at a ton of girls that go to UGA I just went to the UGA location and stalked a ton of people sounds creepy but we all do it let's be real so Instagram stalk a ton of girls get that feel you know watch their stories see what they're wearing to class it sounds really creepy but it helps you get a better idea of what to pack so you don't pack anything like there are some things that I packed that I definitely need, didn't need to bring so definitely join a Facebook group or two um, like I joined right away the UGA class of 2021 Facebook page you're probably already in your 2023 class of whatever that's probably maybe a way how you found your roommate but it's a great resource and it's just an easy way if you have questions you can go through see if someone already asked your questions just like a good resource to have and keeps you in the know of everything another way to keep in the know make sure to log into your .edu email address that they provide for you as soon as they give it to you and like have it on your phone have it set up so you get notifications on your phone because you'll be probably getting emails emails way before school starts and you don't want to miss anything sometimes there's forms that need to be signed whatever you guys are probably smart enough to already have figured this out but um, there were some emails I have missed in the past that I wish I hadn't when it comes to like getting off the waitlist for classes or whatever it may be I think it's just a really smart thing to do and just be prepared because then your first week of school You're not having to set up your email and get it on your phone like you already have it You can like help other people do it if you haven't already go on to rate my professor and look up your professors See what they're like when it comes to attendance homework so you can kind of get an idea of what classes might be harder or more time consuming um, and write it down on your phone or just kind of put it as a mental note in your head so that you know how to prepare exactly. Create a budget because your first semester of freshman year, there are lots of opportunities to spend money. You're gonna want to buy all the new t-shirts, spend so much money on food, you're just gonna wanna do it all. Postmates, Uber Eats, whatever it may be. Make a budget for yourself, seriously. Like you, you don't wanna run out of money your first semester of college. I'm telling you, it sucks, it happens to a lot of people and I saw it and it's just, it's just not fun. Make a budget, say, I don't know. You're gonna spend X amount of money on food per month, X amount of money on like shopping, clothes, X amount on Ubers because you do a lot of Ubers, X amount on like laundry and like how you're, I don't know, that's like coins though, so it's actually not that much. But like, you know, make all your categories and budget it and seriously don't let yourself spend any more than that. I know there are apps actually, I don't know names on top of my head, but there are apps that help you like stay accountable and they'll like text you and say like, you're almost out of your food budget or whatever it may be. It really helps you keep accountable. And you'd be surprised, a lot of people also are doing the same thing. So don't feel crazy for it and it's really smart. And it's just, trust me. Something to prepare for college in the sense of money is do some odd jobs, babysit a little before you go back to school because you can just make some extra money that you can use for food and just for social events. A lot of the ways people bond and like do social things I feel like is by going to eat. So it is nice to have extra fun money. So, you know, babysit someone in your neighborhood or something like that, just make some extra cash. Basically, I'm trying to say prep as much as possible and be detailed and thorough as much as possible. And you're probably excited about it, so it's like fun to do anyways, at least I get excited about stuff like that. So that when you get to school, it's as stress-free as it possibly can, so you can just focus on making friends, doing well in your classes, and just having fun. Not to mention though, on the contrary, my last tip is just to have fun during summer. Enjoy your last summer, you know, maybe spend the morning prepping for college and then enjoy your time with your high school friends, with your family, because my last summer before college was definitely like the last time that all of my friends from high school were like all together all the time. Each year I see less and less of my friends ever over the summer because everyone has internships or whatever it may be. So just enjoy your time. That's not meant to make you scared or sad. It's just true. So yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy your youth. Get excited. Get hype. I can't wait to make even more back to school videos. I hope this video was some sort of help for you guys. I know a lot of you guys are freshmen, so I wanted to make this. But yeah, I love you guys so much and I care about you. Make sure to listen to Gals on the Go podcast. I'm also going to be doing some podcast episodes with Brooke on there about prepping and back to school tips and stuff like that. I'll probably do a solo episode since Brooke's graduated now, but yeah. Thank you so much to JCPenney for sponsoring this video. Uh, freaking awesome. I'll have a link to them down below for you guys to check it out, but for now, enjoy your day and I'll see you guys very soon for our next video. Bye-bye.